Welcome to the LEC Post Game Lobby, where we're all doing amazing after we're doing this so gigantic good. day of last day of regular season oh. and tiebreakers and everything. I'm Law. I think I am at least joined by. <laughs> Uh, that's where am I? You're Ender, right? And I'm, I'm Ender. Yep. He's in some game, oh, I think. Ender? And I'm, I'm sure some Dane, whatever. Keep rolling. What a day. And what a last tiebreaker also between Misfits and Fnatic. Misfits take it the second time around. But they had, I mean, they, they sweated for it. For I sure. mean, they win the game, but not for a re before Relevant goes 0-5 on yeah. the NAR in the top lane. He was just getting absolutely bullied throughout the game. But Misfits just turned it completely around in these team fights. I mean, this moment here, the late re-engage, the Yumi heals throughout it. It, it was just incredible to watch. Yeah, and I feel like Misfits even gave it to them. They named their top laner irrelevant, so I'm not sure why Fnatic <laughs> tried to shut him down. Uh, and then Vito just decided to be the man that's going to steal the show. And I think this team fight specifically, where he just ran amok. You already have a Silas. You already have Vito. Put Mercer on a cat on top of him. He's done it before against Mad Lions. Why not do it in a tiebreaker game against Misfits to, or against Fnatic to secure the upper game bracket? Yeah, I mean, why not? Literally, it <laughs> happened. It all started too with like the one kill Vito got on Razork in mid. Razork really greeted holding out to put down the Herald. That started the ball rolling. And then once the team fights came around, just the longer the fight went, the better it was going to look for Misfits through all of their healing. You cannot underestimate the power mm -hmm. of Yumi attaching to a, a, a champion like Silas that has inbuilt healing. And like one oh. Yumi heal just gives you another Silas heal, which gives you another cycle for it. Yumi, it's madness. And I was blown away. It sounds simple, the fact that he uses the pike to, to bridge the gap to get the second up, gone up dock to get the stun, but my god, Vizio just know the limits of a champion, even when taken away and including either uh, other champions in his ultimate combo. Like, I... What a game. What, what games we've had today in general. <laughs> yeah, indeed. And uh, I mean, if Seven. we can talk about the previous <laughs> yeah. game. On that, though, it's super good for Misfits as they will play in the upper part of the brackets during the playoffs. But you were saying, Goldberg, that we had a mad day today. I have to talk about the previous game, Excel versus Vitality. They needed oh. one win going into the Super Week this week to get into playoffs. What a heartbreak for this team, uh, did You know, coming in with 100% of the scenarios where they would at least get a tiebreaker. 95%. No, no team had a better road to playoffs than them. And I think that a lot of people will be quick to give them a lot of flack. And yeah. I think in terms of criticism of gameplay, of, of course, some of it will be justified. But trust me, no one is going to be harder on these guys than themselves at the end of the day because this yeah. is such a massive yeah. devastation. And the most brutal part, too, is like each one of the games they lost was so close, right? We showed the gold graphs like they had they had leads and there's just team fights back and forth, back and forth. Even once they lose the big lead, it still looks winnable for them, even today in their match. But no, mm -hmm. it just slips away from them again uh, at the final moment and the rest of their playoffs hopes do as well. Yeah, sad that the journey ends here for Vitality. And I don't think you can under underestimate the effect of pressure that and the pressure that this day can have on players and teams. So yeah, fans at home. Please be nice to them, of course. But let's check the standings now because as Vitality is out, uh, it means that we had our six teams that will play for the playoffs being Excel. Excel being the last one joining. Whew. Wow. They it's managed incredible. to save the day in the end. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't even know what to they say from this team. They had the easiest run of schedule coming into right? this uh, Super Week. They should have secured it days ago. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Huh. And uh, I think now they're in a position where they can look back at some of their mistakes. They had a good ramp up. We've been talking about that for a lot of teams. And uh, they can look towards Worlds. Like, even if you're not in a position to win the split, Excel out of nowhere for the first time in the organization's history back can qualify playoffs. for a World Championship. And back-to-back -back playoffs, as you say there yourself, um, and I think for a lot of these teams, that's crazy. Misfits as well. Um, any game, they'll, well, not any game they'll be handling now, but if they end up in the lower bracket, any game Misfits is going to have might potentially be mm -hmm. the organization's last game. And that's crazy to think about. Well, coming to the world discussion, we have to take a look at championship points, of course, because with all places in the summer regular season locked, this is the final championship points counts. We have seeding the teams into playoffs. G2 Esports, we knew that they would come first. Rogue would be second, Mad Lions third, Misfits, Fnatic, and Excel. Ah, this, this is going to be difficult, especially for the Mad Lions when you think of Spring Split. 
Yeah, I mean, so much on the line. G2 also decided to end up choosing Misfits to play against, so Mad Lions will go. not at least have to go up against G2 in the first round. But I just, it's so awesome. I think we get to see Rogue versus Mad very early yeah. on. Uh, Fnatic versus Excel going to be a great series as well. Is the thing, Fnatic already gets to start their lower bracket run. They've had success with that in the past, even though it sounds kind of weird. G2 on top against Misfits should realistically be in the easy path on towards that finals. And then a classic at this point in time, one of the new school rivalries, Mad Lions and Rogue. I mean, this is a spectacular schedule to have looking forward to playoffs. And personally, I can't wait for those best of fives. Well, you know what? I don't get to wait for the best of fives. This no. is my last show, so I'm just going to run through the full-on prediction here. Go on, no give it to us. Give it to us. us. I will not be elaborating. So, if we go ahead and show off the bracket one more time here, I'm going to start with the upper bracket and get rid of that. G2 taking down Misfits. Uh, I believe Mad Lions are also going to be beating Rogue. That's going to go to G2 versus Mad Lions in the upper bracket. G2 going to take that and go straight to our final. Fnatic versus Excel. That one is going to go to Fnatic, but it's going to be a long series mm -hmm. All five games, almost certainly. Uh, they would then have to play against the loser of match one, match two, so they play against Misfits. Fnatic beat Misfits as well. The plot armor is very, very thick for go on those in, teams. The tempo. Let's go. Winner of match four then would go, wait, where does Rogue versus Mad slot into all this? This is getting confusing for me. That's I the second lower bracket, so Mad or Rogue? Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So then Fnatic would then be playing versus Misfits? Is that how that works? I think it is. I don't yeah. know. I'm getting confused. You know what? Fnatic are just going to go on the run all the way through that lower bracket up until they play versus Mad Lions getting knocked down. Of course, Fnatic are going to beat Mad Lions. So we have a G2 versus Fnatic final again. Easy, easy, easy. But here's the, here's the, here's the trick, And right? you, you, left, you left a couple time ago. I know, but things changed, you know. They, you told me things changed. G2 you know? still finished at the top. Fnatic still made playoffs. <laughs> but this time, Fnatic are going to win. Okay, Fnatic are going to take... The whole damn thing. I'm big on the copium. Don't even, don't even <laughs> get a mistake. Heavy of copium. I mean, I there. can't see anything. I, uh, not, I, I'm trying to not hear it, but I've taken off the glasses. I, I'm turning a blind eye to this. Look, <laughs> either I'll be correct, or people will forget in two weeks, and it won't matter anyway. You're a genius. Given the madness that was regular <laughs> season, especially leading into this super week, I have no clue how the players are gonna go. But one thing is sure, we have the key player of the game leaderboard and a winner in the likes of Niski. Fans' favorite because we. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fan. Fans' favorite? Of course it is. If you it's... mean Odawamne, the oh, fans' I'm favorite. Sorry, How I'm dare sorry. you? Four wins for him. I'm sorry, but Thanks being down up. on the bottom side doesn't mean he's the, the fans' favorite. Mm, and and uh, you can try no. and run that narrative all you want, but here you go. There's a little hero montage of Niski because even though they've had a little bit of a slow, uh, what do you say, ending to their split, uh -huh. Mad Lions, in terms of the start to the split, towards the mid of the split, was still uh, piloted by a unit that was El Yoya and it was Niski in the mid lane. And Niski, deservedly so, has gotten so many key player of the games because of his performance as because of the consistency we've she uh, seen from this guy throughout the season. I, th I think it makes sense, honestly, that he ends up first. I mean, when you think of the fans and what Niski means to them, but also the impact that he had on the Mad Lions, as you said, Goldberg, m making the team what it is today, basically, and uniting all the players together. But when we take a look maybe at the rest of the standings, you have Vitio coming second. We were saying that AD carry is OP. I'm saying mid lane is OP in the LEC. Yeah, you know, maybe mid lane OP in, in the regular season for a little bit longer here. Still obviously monstrous impact. Love our European mids, but no, yes. I, I'm sorry. I just I just can't support it. It's, it's a rigged <laughs> vote. I don't know. It's Odoan all the way. No, Odo Sorry, you're just wrong. Him. You're just wrong, Maybe voters. next year, but you're yeah, you get, you get A for effort. That doesn't make sense at all. Perks is <laughs> Perks is fifth. Uh, yeah, the, the year ends here for him. But let's think about the fact that he came back in Europe this year with Vitality High Hopes. But individually speaking, I think he really showed up. Absolutely. I think he, he played some great games. And like the, the heartbreaking thing for Perks as well is like looking at all these last few games, like he could, you could almost tell the moment when the game started slipping away from Vitality because it was the exact moment where Perks was like, okay, well now I have to flash it. Like now I have to go yeah. and mm -hmm. do something because we're starting to lose these fights. So like it, it adds an even l a larger level of pressure on him because he was feeling that pressure himself and he was the one that was like forcing it to such an extreme in those moments. And I feel like, yeah, I mean, he, he's been so good from the early game and I think the middle of the season for Perks was phenomenal too. Um, towards the later half, I think 
Vitality just couldn't make it click. And because of that, like, he had to try and step up. But I think when you already feel that you need to do extra that you're not physically capable of on the rift, that's where it goes wrong, too. Mm -hmm. So I think, like, yes, he tried really hard. Um, but there's also sometimes trying too hard and then you suddenly commit to the wrong place. Yeah, tons of credit to the EU GOAT, of course. And looking forward to seeing him again next year. And there you were mentioning Odo Amne. I'm just wondering how much Odo No Amne... more Odo Amne, we've already talked about him. It's done. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Moving how along. Much, how much do you think he suffered from the memes this year? Oh, but he, that <laughs> helped him. That helped him. The memes was he never got it. Look at him now. He was a 200 IQ with complaining about it all the time. <laughs> and you guys fell for it. This guy has been the one leading the propaganda. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I didn't fall for anything. I'm the ringleader, yeah. man. <laughs> okay. We'll see which of these players that we have still in the LEC will show up in the playoffs, but I think that's all for us here tonight. Guys, thank you so much thank you. for night. bearing with me and yeah, for being with me. Oh, Badge. Okay, time for Badge now. I'll be lowering my voice. We'll be taking a week break and we will be back for the LDC playoffs starting with Rogue versus Mad Lions on Friday, 26th of August. Stay safe, guys. Don't int and go to sleep. See Bye. you soon. Read Bye. me a bedtime story. No. And welcome to the final day of the LEC 2022 regular season live from Berlin, Germany. Three teams are still in the fight for the two last playoff spots. Set fast presence enough, Jonkun flashing as well. Side. And this champ is dumb. The kit is cool, but like she is dumb. Yeah, dumb. Losing 50% of his health as well, but Patrick still wants to step forward. And so many times he stepped up in the past. The hostile takeover was perfect for Mickey. And as Kobe stepped in, Patrick takes him down. And that champ is dumb. His ult's up in one second. Niski, shadow search is on it. Does it go for it? Does it go for it? Do it, 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 Come on, Niski, that's what we like to see. Rufflecopter, 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 Rufflecopter! That's gonna send Haru flying, but the final chapter gets primed. It does not matter. With you, is it gonna come out? Is it gonna come out? He knows oh the fuck <laughs> <laughs> What the what did I just do? <laughs> Actually, to be honest, it's very heartbreaking for me because Wunder, Perks and Mickey, all in different teams. And I really wish that I could smash them myself. <laughs> so yeah, next fighting forward, lands the stun onto Cap, the first oh. tomb, the double! Cap's going forward, marches away, Jezu spinning in, but he's still Cannot kill Cavs, a triple for Yankos. Buy some time with that stopwatch. Teleport from Alfari coming in mid lane. It's but it might be too late. Not going to be able to get involved. There was stop. Nuke Duck interrupted the TP. Axel, they're looking to return the favor. Get revenge. Vitality knock them out in spring. Axel, knock them out in summer. Only 40? 40? That's disappointing. Boo. Yeah, on the hunt is up for Neon as well. That's going to be the oh. turn. Call the and everyone is huge. That's it. That's all Fnatic needed. Fnatic have booked their ticket to playoffs and they take down Misfits. Yeah, push them out, Stevie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no cameras here. <laughs>